Hi everyone, Karen from Stitches and Things. Um, I just got a little video about um, people that struggle because they knit tight. Now they tell me, but I don't pull the yarn tight, I'm not a tight knitter. And I've got these giant needles. And when you have a look at the anatomy of a needle, and, uh, and this goes for anything you knit, um, our, if we're using a 20 mil needle, we're going to get a 20 mil stitch like we have here with this um, meshy scarf that I've just put together. Um, but when we look at the anatomy of a needle, we can see that our 20 mil starts here and then it gets smaller, 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 smaller. Now, because this is such a large scale needle and I should have picked up, I should have picked up a little one. You don't realise um, how the difference in size between here and here um, when you've got a small needle, but it comes very, very apparent with a big needle, um, what happens. So to give you an idea, and now I knit continental, but ignore the way I'm knitting, uh, and I'm gonna show you the first thing, and then I'll show you the, the two main reasons why people knit tight. One is they are, hold on a second, they are forming their stitches on the tip. So if I knit a few stitches because on the tip of my needle, right, so now my stitches, which should be 20 mil, are tight on my needle because I've formed them on the tip of my needle. Now, this needle is extreme, obviously, but the same things happens on, on small needles. And the perfect example, so when we knit, we should push our yarn up to the fat bit and on these, it's extreme because it's a long way away because it's such thick needles. But what happens is that as our needle fills up with stitches and we think, oh, I can fit a few more on before I pull down, then suddenly, here I am, I've filled up my 20 mil bit and now oh, I can just got the last few stitches left of the row. Um, I'll just finish these off. And suddenly, here I am, my last few stitches of my row are down here on the bit that is so these ones don't feel too bad but then it's like oh my gosh you know why is my knitting so tight i didn't knit tight i don't understand you know this is this is um this is one of the most common re re um, reasons why that people knit on the tips of their needles regardless of size and that that creates issues because some of your stitches if they're formed here are the right size and then the ones that are here that we've managed to mash up onto here um, we've actually pulled them tight from the row below so if you if your knitting's uneven it might be that you're knitting some of them here and one or two of them here and when you push them up the yarn from here has got to come somewhere because it doesn't stretch so obviously you've got to pull from somewhere else so it either pulls from the stitches beside it or it pulls from stitches below. And you can actually see these are really quite tight up here and see the, the bumps on the bottom of these, they're actually quite loose. So um, that's one of the reasons. The other reason that um, people knit tight is that they're pulling against their stitch. Actually, I'll knit it, I'll knit it the conventional way. So, um, and obviously I can't throw it because the needles are too big. If some people have it t like tight, maybe um, over here, around here a couple of times. So this is tight. So if you're pulling tight against here, you're tightening this stitch down onto the needle. And some, there are two things. Some people will wind it round really tight, hold it really tight and then finish their stitch. So then they're pulling tight against here. Everything is tight. Um, there's no need to be tight, tight, um, providing you are consistent. So if you are a tight knitter and you go up a needle size, your knitting is going to have the right tension to make the, the, the gauge of your garment right, but you're still going to be fighting here. Need to learn to relax. Don't pull this one strangle the needle because you've got this this pulling tight and then you think oh my god if I let go my stitch is going to get loose and then you you make your stitch and you pull it tight around there and you still got a hold of it tight and you're pulling it tight on here and we end up 
with it just being really unpleasant. And the other thing is that then when we come to knit into them the other way, then you're fighting to get your needle into there. So I, uh, I am a loose knitter by design. I would prefer to use a smaller needle and knit a little bit looser, but be consistent with the way that I knit um, so that I can comfortably push my needles along my, uh, push my wool along my needles. I can comfortably do this. I can comfortably get my stitches into here, but sometimes it means I might need to fiddle a bit with my, with my, um, my needle because obviously if I'm going to knit looser, I'm going to need to use a smaller needle. So I just need to accommodate myself to make sure that um, what I'm knitting a little looser, consciously looser, because I want to make it easy. I want, when I'm working with a circular, I want to be able to pull it round and it slides around. I don't want to be fighting with it the whole time. It just takes the pleasure out of it. So if you're tight, just have a look at those couple of things um, and you may be able to correct yourself relatively easy. So have a go at that. All right, that's it. See you later. See you next time.